Hello and welcome. As promised in the last video, today I will string my horn bow for the very first time. This is not only the first time I'm stringing this bow, but generally first time of stringing a horn composite bow. So I will adhere to what I've been told to do regarding these bows. If you're just interested to see how it actually looks when I string the bow, skip to this time. Aside from that, I will explain it now and then afterwards show the stringing itself. According to the bow years, you are supposed to warm up these bows as they are organic materials, they then uh, apparently take the strain a lot better. So what I will do first is start bending the bow itself over the knees, progressively moving it back further until it's back far enough to brace height. At that point I will have my girlfriend put on the string real quick and then the bow will be strung. At that point it's important to do the balancing, that is to say that both limbs equally bend and the stresses are evenly distributed. And also look at the alignment of the ears so that it's side by side properly corrected. If all is fine and it's no problem at all, then I will let the bow rest for roughly 5 to 10 minutes and afterwards it can be shot for the first time. The first 20 shots is one told me should be at half draw and afterwards I can progress to full draw. This is all to allow the bow to effectively warm up as you would before workout. According to the bow year, the first three months are the most important in regards to teaching a horn bow how to behave because apparently it's very important that you just teach it how to bend and uh, what it should behave like effectively. So you have a five minute window of balancing and correcting the bow and afterwards it should be set. If there's a big problem then you need to apply heat but I hope I won't have to do that. And generally speaking in the first three months you should string it regularly, shoot it and effectively by maintaining it properly you supposedly won't have to correct it as much afterwards. Alright, let's get into it. I'm going to start by warming up, bending it gently. and you immediately feel the tension in the bow. Now this is 80 pounds at 28 according to this one. Well, that was at least the weight that I ordered. I haven't measured it yet, but I don't have any doubts that it's going to be in that range according to weather, obviously. All right, it's time to put on the string. To me, this looks very well balanced, actually. This one might be a tiny bit stiffer, so what I want to do is bend it like this over the knee, hold it according to the PDF, roughly 30 seconds, and then Check it. That looks very good. Now look for alignment issues. So I need to move the string over first. This one is a little bit out to the side. So I'm supposed to hold these each 30 seconds. Nothing of what I'm seeing is a big issue or big deviation. Same on this side. And I am using the knee more as a point of leverage, not to apply massive force. Actually the bow responds very quickly to the pressure I'm putting on it. So me bracing it against the knee is just for comfort of my, on my part, not because I need incredible amounts of power here. I feel like this one still needs, it looks good, the string is in alignment, but it just feels like on this side, it just has a tiny bit of twinge towards this direction. Mm-hmm. 
That's a lot better. All right. I think that looks pretty good. This one's bending a little more. So you can do this two ways. Either way you push it like this against the belly. This looks good. Or you brace it against the knee and then you pull. Effectively what you're doing is you're stressing the stronger limb a little more and that straightens out the weaker limb. And generally speaking that looks pretty good. I don't think I will need my my van brace either because the brace side is nice and high so no need for that. Let's see if it stayed in alignment. Looks very good. Maybe a tiny bit more. So what's happening next is me letting it rest for roughly 5 to 10 minutes um, and checking periodically whether or not everything is fine, which it looks to be right now. And once it's settled into this position, it'll afterwards be ready to shoot. As I said, the first 20 shots roughly are at half draw and afterwards it's full draw. And I, I gotta tell you, this feels incredible in my hand. It's, it's such a lovely feeling to have this bow strung now. And honestly, I love the shape. I feel like it, it, it looks powerful, it feels powerful, and there's like immediate tension on the string. You can feel while you're trying to brace this bow that it just wants to pull back. You feel the sinew, uh, the sinew effectively like pulling forwards, pulling it back into like a reflex. You feel the horn pushing outwards. It's just, it feels a lot more uh, determined than than a, a classic wooden bow, at least from what I feel like right now. And I think overall, for my first time stringing this, I'm balancing a horn bow. It probably isn't too shabby a job. Though it does want to slightly move to the side. I'm obviously not manhandling it too much into position right now. I'm frankly lacking the experience to just bludgeon it into the position because I don't know how much force I actually need. So I try rather instead of going too far too fast to just slightly slowly adjust it into position and rather have it in smaller and more numerous steps as opposed to overshooting it at some point and then possibly damaging the bow. But I don't think that's a big issue right now. And I feel like this is turning out quite well. So right now it looks good both in sideways alignment as well as in uh, the balance itself. The balancing is I think pretty much spot on right now and the sideways correction I'm not quite sure it still feels like it moves a tiny bit over to this side just just a hint and I think that's actually fine. Quite excited about this bill. Looks good. Alright, to summarize, I think now it's behaving properly. I'm just checking now and then again to make sure it doesn't move out of alignment. But right now it looks pretty much spot on in my mind. And uh, I will now let it rest. I've had heavier bows of this kind of style with the long ears before. And generally speaking, I just use the step in method to string them. And I don't trust myself to do that with this bow. I think it's a stupid idea, especially as a beginner. Um, but really, I don't feel like the corrections took particularly long or felt particularly difficult. The bow itself moved into position and into the proper strung shape quite easily overall. And I don't think that's necessarily due to my expertise, but more to the expertise of the bowyer, Iswan Katona, doing a good job with this bow in the first place and shooting in this bow well enough. So 
I think it's mostly owed to that, but the bow seems pretty well balanced. It's got a tiny bit of sideways maneuvering that it does every now and then. So I'm just giving it a little bit of a push to the side, holding it for roughly 30 seconds and then moving it on. But generally speaking, to summarize, I think it actually was a lot easier than I had expected. And that may be because, I, well, it's not that long since it's out of store. And um, that means it's probably been handled pretty well so far. And all in all, I expected it to be more frightening, really. Because when you read online about balancing these horn bows, you always think, oh, it's so, so dangerous, and if you do it wrong, they will explode, and then your money will be out the window. But so far, it feels a lot more... A lot easier and a lot more intuitive than I would have thought before. And also, additionally to that, it feels like it responds a lot more and a lot more quickly as compared to, say, a wooden laminate, a fiberglass or a wooden bow itself. Um, and that's obviously due to the materials, but it responds fairly quickly, it feels intuitive and a lot easier to correct this bow than, uh, say, a wooden bow that's gone out of alignment because they need heat almost regardless of what you do. So it's it's a little bit difficult uh, to to describe it, but it feels a lot more responsive and alive as compared to a standard wooden bow. And all in all, I think for the first string I'm quite happy with this. Then I will see how it shoots. But that is going to be in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, leave a like, leave a comment. If you have any uh, questions, any comments or any advice, I'd be very welcome to hear it. And uh, if you enjoy this journey with me and my hornbow, then be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.